So what is a saint? Whenever I imagine a saint, I kind of get this image in my head of this perfect looking person, possibly dressed in old fashioned religious clothing, either a nun or a monk, smooth skinned, maybe a full beard, with an enigmatic smile on their face. They're looking upwards towards heaven and have a glowing halo on their head. The only problem with these kinds of images are that they present the saints as something other, something unearthly and mysterious. We see these images and these statues and we kind of go into ooh mode, you know, ooh. We speak in hushed tones, you know. They present the image of a saint as some sort of perfection and unobtainable reality. What we tend to forget is that the saints were human beings with the same faults and failings as the rest of us. We should certainly look up to the saints, but we should be wary about putting them on a pedestal and, and thinking that they are something that we can't be. Do we ever imagine that a saint could have had a bad day or lost their temper? or really struggled to do the right thing. You know, I'm sure they did. A young child was once asked what a saint was, and she replied, a saint is someone that the light shines through. When asked to explain herself, she said that the saints are in the windows of the church and the light shines through them. Of course, she was talking about the stained glass windows. But her description is quite accurate. The saints are human beings just like you and me. But in the way they lived their lives, the light of Christ shines through them. They live their lives to the best of their ability in conformity with Jesus. Were they always successful? No. Did they always get it right? Certainly not. But did they keep trying? Yes, yes they did. When they failed, they got up, they tried again. And that's what being a saint is. It's knowing our own sinfulness, knowing our own failings but getting up and trying again, trying to live our lives in conformity with Christ. Certainly we don't always get it right, but the saints got up and tried again, and that's what the Lord calls us to do, just to get up and try again. I celebrated the Mass on the feast of St. Augustine of Canterbury the other day, and as I was going through the Mass beforehand preparing the books, I came across the preface of saints. Now the preface is the long prayer before the Holy Holy and you have different prefaces for different occasions. And in the preface for the saints there's a section that really speaks about what a saint is. And I'm just going to read that out to you now. So talking about the saints it says, by their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. So that's what the saints are to us. They're examples their companions, their advocates, and sure support in our lives' journey. During June, we'll be doing a series of posts on Facebook, the A to Z of Saints. Each day on our Facebook page, we're going to highlight a different saint, maybe say a little bit about their lives, about their story. We thought it would be nice if you could also join in, and on the day, Add your favourite saint, beginning with the letter of the alphabet, 
that is allocated to that particular day. So we'll be starting on the 1st of June and working our way through to the end of the month. So God bless and I look forward to exploring the saints with you during June.